mentioned in one of my last uh, swatch videos that I was going to do some hauls. And I have quite a few of them. I ended up hauling a lot of nail polish in the last month. Um, I believe all of this was purchased within the last month. Um, it, it's been probably almost two weeks, though, since I did the haul. Um, I'm going to have, I have a non-nail polish item at the end of this haul, but I'm going to include it. But the first thing I have here is, it's the OPI uh, New Orleans Collection Mini Set. And there's four little minis in there, and the colors are, oops, this is from TJ Maxx, I don't know if I mentioned. Got myself into a jambalaya, uh, take a raid on bourbon, I'm so swamped, and show us your tips. And they're called the jambalettes, I guess, or jam, jambalettes, I'm sorry. Um... And they're, I would say these look like kind of like spring or more spring or summer colors, but I'm sure you could wear them anytime. Um, the set was five ninety nine. Uh, the next polish that I got was an OPI nail lacquer, and it was three ninety nine. That that's the standard price there. And this one's Tans Tasmanian Devil made me do it. And it's sort of a, in person, it's sort of a tulip red, sort of on the, I would describe it as a red-orange with a slight pinkish hue to it, but it definitely looks like it'll be a glossy opaque red, but the, it does lean a little, like a slight pinkish hue with uh, red-orange there. And the next polish I got, I think I have this in the mini. It's a Hello Kitty color, and it's got some yellow nail polish on the cap. This one's called Five Apples Tall, so I don't know whether I have this one or not, but I I do have some Hello Kitty minis. They put the late the price label right over the OPI part. Um, I don't know. I'll just turn it around for the color. The next polish I got is an Essie... Um, I know this starry pattern means something, and I can't remember what. I know, I'm pretty sure it's a finish indicator, but I can't remember. Um, this one is, and I didn't look up swatches of these, like, online. This one's uh, 9.59 Life of the Party, and it's sort of, um, it's a metallic. It's sort of, um... I don't know, it's hard to describe. It's kind of a cranberry or burgundy red, but maybe leaning a little bit to, it has maybe a slight bit of brown or bronzy color, but even a little silver undertone. I know that's probably not making a lot of sense, but and because it's metallic, I don't know, it just has a lot of, um, I, I see it just in ever so slight, like maybe brown, but I guess cranberry is probably the best description of that color. And, oh, that one was three ninety nine as well. Um, I noticed Essie's seems to have gone up in price lately, which I find a little discouraging because I really like Essie, but I find, now I've seen it going for like $9 a bottle now. And as much as I like Essie, I'd rather buy it on sale at that price because that I just find that to be a little high, but for the, you know, the price point. Um... Uh, Love is in My Cards is the next OPI color. Now this one's a little more of a, a velvety red, blood red. I'm pretty sure it's a, just a glossy opaque, but it's like a really rich, deep red. Classic red, too. Um, the next one, and I've worn this one. I didn't do a swatch video of it. It was a really pretty color. I got compliments on it. It was three ninety nine, and it's the color number is Virgin Snow, and it's um, nine forty, and it's a very beautiful sort of almost a floral color, sort of a lavender. Oh, it's kind of unusual though. It's got a little bit of a gray tone to it, 
And I did get compliments on the color. I found that application, I didn't do a swatch video. It didn't, it wasn't the best manicure I've ever done, but it might have been my fault or the fact that I used kind of a cheap base coat and top coat with it. It also was strange. It seemed like it dried really quick and um, had that sort of finish where you feel like it might peel off, but it didn't. I don't know if anyone knows what I'm describing like that dries really fast, almost sort of peel off sensation you get from a polish while you're applying it and it almost feels like when you drag the brush over in your nail like you're going to pull the polish off even though you're just applying it. So this one was a little bit difficult with application. It looked it looked pretty good afterwards. I might experiment with different base and top coats with it though. It might have had something to do with I think I used a nail hardener under um, that polish and I could see that affecting the finish and what I don't understand about a nail hardener is if it does affect the finish when are you supposed to wear it like are you supposed to just wear it as a clear coat and I because that's not something I really do because I have the yellowing from never having my nails free of nail polish so this next SE I haven't worn it yet and it's got some settling in the bottle it's three ninety nine, and it was going Guru nine fifty six, and it's a really pretty sort of Easter basket kind of green. You know, like sort of reminds me of like Easter. Same with this lavender, sort of a really spring Easter sort of shade. Really pastel. Both of them are true pastels. So those are the that green. I look forward to wearing. Um, I didn't really do an update about where I'd been this summer, but I just started a more, I guess you could say, a job where, like, dress code's probably a little stricter, and I'm, I'm leaning towards more conservative colors on a more regular basis. It's not going to stop me from buying weird colors, but I'm probably not going to be wearing them as much, because I don't feel, I don't exactly have a dress code that says I can't wear unusual colors. I just feel like I probably should stay away from strange colors. Um, at work, anyway. So maybe on the weekend I'll try to lean towards stuff that, you know, polishes that are, um, more, I guess, non-traditional. Anyway, mirror, mirror on the wall is a really weird, this is an OPI and it was three ninety nine. It's a really weird, um, there's a bead color, I collect beads too, and there's a bead color like this, it's an iridescent sort of brown based, bronzy based polish, it's really pretty, kind of wondering, I don't think I have this polish, I don't know if it's that I've looked at it before at the store, but it looks really familiar to me. Okay, the next polish that I got is an OPI top coat. Um, this was also $3.99. It says sheer on the top. And it says, well, I'm not really sure why it says top coat. I guess it's a finish polish. And it's called B magenta with me. I don't know if this top coat creates an effect. I guess it's one of these sheer tints. Oh, I, now I've answered my own question. It's a sheer tint polish. I have another one of these, but I don't even remember what I... I don't remember having a positive feeling about it, but I don't remember what the issues were with that. So, But this is a red sheer tint, so I don't know, maybe that would make it easier to work with, because I think the other one I have is a more unusual color. But I don't I don't even really remember now well what what that was all about. That was a while ago. Um I'll probably go over that more when I do my OPI collection. Um I think it was a lavender shade though, but um anyway. Yeah, I think it was lavender and it seems like it had a weird um grayish hue or something was really strange about it. Anyway, the last polish from TJ Maxx was a uh, Milani nail lacquer, and this one was a dollar ninety nine. 
I know you can probably get Milani cheaper at like the dollar store or Dollar Tree, I mean. Um, the color number is covered. Oh no, I'm sorry. It's Iced Mango number 34A. That sounds familiar, but I don't remember if I've bought that before. Um, I like Milani. I've noticed from looking at my nail, nail wheel of Milani that even though I've put, I think, three coats of polish on that nail wheel per color, um, it seems like Milani is a little thin on the swatches. So, but I, what's weird is about that is when I wear it, I don't notice that being the case, but whatever. Um, I still like Milani. I like the weird, well, I shouldn't call it weird colors, but they definitely create some unusual shades, and I like that. Um, I have red red on my nails, by the way. It's a wet and wild color, color they've issued a number of times. It's really kind of an old manicure. I've had it on for like probably four days, so it's actually wearing really well. Whoops, not very good coverage on that nail. Um, it's wearing really well, well for like, um, what a polish that might cost a dollar. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and you have a great day.